Okay. Bangkok Airport. Alright, it's got a big long name and I keep stuffing it up so I'm not going to say it. It starts with scrim of it, something bloody thing like that. Um, Alright, so when you come from Pattaya and you get the bus here, it's a direct bus. They'll come in along here, they'll stop somewhere along here. This is the main drag, they just loop around and away they go again. Now, that over there, that's their control tower. Alright. Runway is that way and check out this airport. This is four levels. Alright. And they go all the way down there. I don't want to drop my phone. Alright. So as for me, alright, I'm gonna see if we can quickly scoot across without getting killed. See there's an ambulance on the go already. Somebody's probably been hit. Alright. So, you've got many entrances, so what happens is, I'm with Cathay Pacific, alright, Cathay Pacific, so I come in this one, number 9, because there's no, well there is 8, but you come in 9, alright, so just wandering straight in, yes you can come in and out, you can smoke just here like everybody else is on the corner. You're obviously not allowed to smoke past the glass or else you'll get a 5,000 baht fine. Uh. So, once you enter into this massive, massive airport of four levels, Yes, four levels. Right. That's only just down to the second one, that's down to the third one, and there's one down after that. So, we'll just um, quickly give you the... So, we're here. Departures. Okay. Many, many, many. Alright, go down one floor here. And you go to the shops and restaurants. And 7-Eleven. And by the way, they don't sell cigarettes. Uh, arrivals. Getting the public transport. And the airport railway. There's it. Four levels. There you go. Guys, there's no shortages in the airport, mate, of hot ladies. I tell you. Right, so you come over to here. Uh, my flight is not up there yet, it should be. So, self service check in information. Right, you look for Cafe Pacific. Right, uh, it will change, there it is at the top. And it says RMS. Well, that's where my check in is. Right, but I'm not not doing that right now because I've still got another eight fucking hours so I've already walked around here for an hour and a bit already just getting a feel for this airport and as you can see it is ginormous right it's like a hundred meters or 100, 140 meters to the other end right and it just goes on and on and on and there's four floors below us. Now, alright, I was going to head off and go to 7-Eleven and get myself a cup of coffee. They've got all these baggage wrap and all that stuff. Um, people sleeping everywhere. Heaps of places to charge your phones. So I'll just put this on a better zoom. So this one down here, I think that that's Arrivals, okay, this is the restaurant, restaurant shops, etc, etc. I already went right down the other end, they've got Burger King, they've got, they've got McDonald's, and yeah, just about everything. Hell, they even got Massage, well it is Thailand, so... 
that be the time? That's the time on the 20th of August. Because it is, yeah, 12.30. I've still got another seven and a half hours. Gotta find somewhere to have a kip like this guy. Like this guy. Yeah. But I need to go and get changed because I'm still dressed in. Yep. I'm still dressed as if I'm still walking down the beach. And as we know, aeroplanes are very, very cold. So from here, I go to Hong Kong. I wait three hours in Hong Kong and then I fly to Perth. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a dupe run, but hey, hey, well, look out. Oh, fucking Terminator. Yeah, doesn't know what it's going to do. There it goes. It's waiting for all of us to get out of the way. Okay, yeah, see, you get some greedy people take the whole fucking thing and leave no one anywhere to sit. So we've got 7 Eleven. Now, one thing about 7 Elevens in Thailand, they sell a lot of packaged foods, you know, like jaffles and toasties and sausages and meats, and they microwave and they put in the jaffle iron for you. They even sell alcohol, but they don't sell cigarettes. Oh, jeez. I should have bought these things earlier, though. I only had 120 when I, um, seen them. And what they are is they're a little, you, you make them. Uh, pretty cool, I reckon. And, uh, yeah, so, coffee. Yes, I am feeling a bit of a zombie. I have been up since 5 o'clock yesterday morning. So, I've been cool, busy, busy, busy. So, here we go. Coffee. Immigration lady. Okay. I didn't get coffee, but we got a hot chocolate. I gotta find somewhere to park because boy this thing is hot. So I had to just pull up somewhere like this person that's got going on here. They even got their own little mat and everything. So I'm just gonna drop all my shit here.